Hello programmers, we are just beginning to discuss operator overloading and that's where you overload operators, you make them able to work with your own objects uh, that you've defined. So we talked about defining a Pokemon class. Every Pokemon in my example has a name and a CP, short for combat power, and I'm overloading the addition operator because if I want to have two Pokemon like Pikachu who has a combat power of 100 and Eevee that has a combat power of 50, if they were working together you might say that their total power is 150. Now to be able to do this line that says P plus E, a Pokemon plus another Pokemon, that's not going to happen automatically. You're going to have to write something that tells the compiler what does it even mean to add two Pokemon together. So in my first try, I'm saying, well, if you add two Pokemon together, notice that there's two objects we're adding together. Well, the object to the left of the plus sign, we can use the this pointer. We can directly use the names of the private fields. So I can directly use CP. So when I say CP, I'm talking about Pikachu's CP in this case. When I talk about what's passed in the parentheses for the addition operator, in this case, it's Eevee is the Pokemon that I'm passing to the function. So when I do p.cp, that's Eevee's.cp. And we ended up calculating their CP total of 150, returning that into the total variable and printing that out. Well, that works all fine and dandy, but what if we have a constant Pokemon? So once we define the Pokemon and fill in all the values, we don't, we've promised never to change it by using cons. Well, when I try to start this, I'm not going to be as happy with the results because it's not going to compile it'll say that there's no addition operator that knows how to work with a constant Pokemon. Um, and so whether I put the constant here or here, I'm going to get the same kind of answer. It doesn't, the addition operator is just not built to handle that yet. So for making the second Pokemon constant, we can change that by adding the word const right here in the parentheses and we need to remember to do it with the prototype as well as the body of the function and this is going to fix that problem and this is going to compile and run and we're going to see the total of 150 and I'll just swing this over here and we can see Pikachu plus Eevee is 150. But what about the first Pokemon? What about if that's constant? How do I reference in the function that the, the, this pointer itself is constant and we're not going to change it? Well, the trick for that is at the very end, the, after the parenthesis, you're going to put const there. And that means you're keeping the this pointer constant, that you're not going to change whatever's to the left of the operator. And we'll make sure to do that down here in the implementation and this allows us to um, add two constant Pokemon together because our addition isn't actually changing any of the values in the Pokemon class so it's okay to promise to keep both of those constant. Alright, I'm not 100% happy with this addition operator yet. Let's create another Pokemon and I'll show you why. Let's say I have a magic carp. That's kind of a long variable name. We'll say it's still a magic carp, but the variable name is M. So magic carp. And it's not a very powerful little fish there at all. So it's got a CP of 10. And let's say I want to add Pikachu plus Eevee plus magic carp, and they're going to combine their powers and attack this gem and try to take it over. Well, right off the bat, I see it's underlining one of my plus lines. So what's wrong? I thought it overloaded the addition operator. Well, I did overload the addition operator, but now I'm doing something called chaining. I'm trying to add two Pokemon together and return a result, which is an integer, and then now I've got an integer plus a Pokemon. We don't have a function defined for that. So I would say instead of returning an integer, what I'm gonna switch this to is return a Pokemon object. And what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna make a new Pokemon um, I'll just call it uh, the sum. Uh, so the name will be, I'll just say team, and it doesn't matter, I put in as the CP here. Well, actually, we might as well do all our math here. We can do CP plus CP.CP, and then we can return, instead of just a simple integer, we can return the sum of the, the Pokemon that has the two CPs added together. So 
let me change the prototype as well. Pokemon is what we're going to return. And we'll try compiling again and cross our fingers and hopefully I didn't forget anything. No suitable, oh, it, so I can't store the answer in an int anymore. I've got to store that answer in a Pokemon or send that directly to the insertion operator. So I try this and let's see. Total. Oh, I got rid of my insertion operator. So let's add that back really quickly because we need to be able to print this out. So we'll see how quickly I can recreate the insertion operation, meaning it has access to directly access all of those private data fields. Something like this and we'll go ahead and run it. And we see if we combine Pikachu, Eevee, and Magic Carp, that team's power is 160, and that is what happens when we add up the CP for those three Pokemon. So we've made our addition operator even better because we can now do chaining and we can use constant objects and it, it looks perfect.